let us discuss how our African religions has affected Christianity in Africa today. This has helped us, as Africans, to accept the foreign religion but with the introduction of our ancestral beliefs into it. In Africa, our cultural traditions have eaten deep into Christianity. This has affected how the rest of the world pictured Christianity in Africa. This blending or merging of different religious or cultural traditions, often resulting in the creation of a new belief system or practice is known as syncretism. In the context of Christianity in Africa, syncretism has been a significant phenomenon due to the interaction between traditional African religious beliefs and practices and the introduction of Christianity by European missionaries. Syncretism between traditional African religions and Christianity happens in various parts of Africa, where indigenous spiritual beliefs and practices have intersected with Christian teachings and rituals. This blending of religious traditions has led to the development of unique and complex belief systems that reflect both local cultural identities and Christian influences. This phenomenon has been a significant aspect of the way Christianity has been practiced and adapted across the African continent. Here are some key aspects of syncretism between traditional African religions and Christianity in Africa. 1. Cultural Adaptation When Christianity was brought to Africa by European missionaries during the colonial era, local African populations often integrated Christian teachings and practices with their existing beliefs and cultural traditions. This adaptation allowed for a more relatable and accessible form of Christianity that resonated with local worldviews. This adaptation was not only about theological concepts but also about incorporating familiar symbols, rituals, and social structures into the new faith. 2. Incorporation of traditional elements, traditional African religious practices, such as ancestor veneration, rituals, and symbols, were sometimes incorporated into Christian worship. This could involve using traditional musical instruments, incorporating dance, or adapting religious festivals to align with Christian celebrations. For example, certain rituals related to birth, marriage, death, and harvest were adapted to fit within the framework of Christian beliefs. This allowed African converts to maintain a connection with their cultural heritage while embracing Christianity. 3. Ancestor worship and saints One of the most notable examples of syncretism in African Christianity is the connection between ancestor worship and the veneration of saints. In traditional African religions, ancestors played a central role in spiritual life. When Christianity arrived, the concept of saints in certain Christian denominations, who were seen as intercessors between humans and God, resembled the role of ancestors in African spiritual belief. This practice has been incorporated into Christianity by regarding deceased ancestors as intermediaries or intercessors with God, similar to the role of saints. This led to some Africans viewing saints as a continuation of their ancestor veneration practices. 4. Healing and Spiritual Power Traditional healers and spiritual leaders held respected positions in many African societies. Some of these leaders incorporated Christian elements into their practices, creating a unique blend of healing rituals that combined indigenous beliefs with Christian symbols and prayers. For instance, healers or diviners may blend their traditional methods with Christian prayers or rituals for healing and protection. 5. Music and Worship Styles Music and worship styles were another area where syncretism occurred. Traditional African musical instruments, rhythms, and melodies found their way into Christian hymns and worship songs, adding a unique African flavor to worship services. Traditional songs and rhythms may also find their way into worship services, contributing to a blend of cultural expressions. 6. Language and Linguistic Influence the translation of Christian texts into local languages allowed for a deeper understanding of Christian concepts within the cultural context. However, this also meant that certain Christian terms were translated using existing indigenous terminology, which could influence the interpretation of Christian ideas. In some syncretic communities, indigenous languages are used alongside or within Christian liturgy. 7. Symbols and Iconography Christian symbols and iconography were sometimes interpreted through an African cultural lens. For instance, the image of Jesus or the Virgin Mary might be depicted with physical features resembling those of the local population. This has made traditional African artistic forms and symbols to be sometimes incorporated into Christian religious art, church architecture, and iconography. 
this fusion of visual elements created a distinct African Christian aesthetic, making the religion feel more familiar and relatable. 8. Social structure The communal nature of traditional African societies often aligns with Christian ideals of community and sharing. Church structures may resemble traditional leadership systems, and Christian congregations may function as extended families, similar to how traditional communities are organized. Syncretism between traditional African religions and Christianity reflects the resilience of African cultural identity and the capacity for adaptation. It's a testament to the complex ways in which religious beliefs and practices interact and evolve over time.